Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, four uh, triangles uh, fully confined uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. The white uh, triangle, the blue one, the green one, and this uh, orange one, such that the area of this uh, orange uh, triangle is 5 uh, centimeter square. The area of this uh, blue triangle uh, is uh, six uh, centimeter square and finally the area of this uh, green uh, triangle is seven centimeter square and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, BEF please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and now let me go ahead and share with you the action plan since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, white uh, triangle and then we can see from this uh, equation the white triangle area is going to be equal to the area of this whole rectangle uh, a b c d minus uh, the area of this uh, orange uh, triangle minus uh, the area of blue triangle and finally the area of uh, this uh, green uh, triangle and we know the area of this uh, orange triangle is five centimeter square the blue area is uh, six uh, centimeter square and the area of this green triangle is uh, seven centimeter square so therefore now our only task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this rectangle uh, a b c d and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times width uh, of the rectangle so therefore let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, length of this uh, rectangle as our lowercase a and the width uh, of this uh, rectangle let me label this one as lowercase b and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, orange uh, triangle uh, a B E whose area has been given to us as 5 centimeter square and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base times height and now I want to remove this uh, fraction let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 therefore we can see on the right hand side uh, 2 and 1 divided by 2 they cancel each other out and on the left hand side uh, 2 times uh, area I'm going to represent it by uppercase A is going to be equal to base uh, times uh, height just let's write it down so therefore from this point on we are going to use uh, this area of a triangle formula and now let's focus once again on this uh, orange uh, triangle whose uh, base is uh, a and let me label this height uh, as uh, lowercase h let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so this is going to be 2 times the area of this orange triangle is 5 equals to base in our case is a times height is h so therefore if we simplify this thing a times h turns out to be 10 let's divide both sides by a so therefore this a and a cancels out so therefore our height h turns out to be 10 divided by a so therefore our this uh, height uh, h turns out to be 10 divided by a and here's our next step let's focus now on this uh, blue triangle uh, bcf whose base has been given to us uh, as lowercase b and the area is uh, 6 and now let's assume that this other side of this blue triangle is being represented by height h so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula once again 2 times uh, the area of this blue triangle is 6 uh, equal to our base is b times height uh, is h let's divide both sides by b so therefore our height uh, h is going to be equal to 12 divided by b so therefore our this uh, length uh, h uh, turns out to be 12 divided by b and finally let's focus on this uh, green triangle uh, 
DEF whose area is uh, 7 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side length uh, is lowercase b so therefore this whole side length is going to be lowercase b as well and we can see that this segment uh, AE is uh, 10 uh, divided by A so therefore uh, this segment uh, DE is going to be lowercase b minus uh, 10 uh, divided by A and likewise we can see that this uh, segment uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a so therefore uh, this side uh, of the rectangle is going to be lowercase a as well and we know that this uh, segment uh, fc is 12 divided by b so therefore uh, this segment uh, df is going to be equal to a minus 12 divided by b so therefore we can see the side lengths uh, of this uh, green triangles are b minus uh, 10a and the other side uh, is a minus 12 divided by b and now let's assume this uh, side length uh, of this green triangle uh, is the base uh, and this uh, side length uh, is the height so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula once again so two times uh, the area of this green triangle is uh, 7 is going to be equal to our uh, base is a minus 12 divided by b times uh, b minus uh, 10 divided by a let me go ahead and simplify i'm going to write down this uh, right hand side uh, on the other way around so i'm going to write a minus uh, 12 uh, divided by b times this other factor b minus 10 divided by a equals to 14 on the right hand side and here in this uh, next step i have tweaked this uh, a a could be written as uh, a b divided by b to make sure we have the common uh, denominators and likewise this b could be written as uh, a times b divided by a to make sure we have the same uh, denominators as well and in this uh, next step i have put down this one as a b as a common uh, denominator and likewise for this one a as a common denominator and now in this uh, next step i am going to multiply both sides uh, by a times b in order to remove this uh, fraction i multiply this uh, left hand side a times b and likewise uh, a times b on the right hand side as well as you can see in this uh, next step this a b and this a b they cancel each other out let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number one and now we are going to make a substitution let me go ahead and uh, assume that uh, x uh, equals to a times uh, b then our this part is going to be x uh, likewise x uh, and finally x over here as well as you can see in this uh, next step after the substitution and now let's go ahead and do the double uh, distribution by simply multiplying them as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's go ahead and move this 14x uh, on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see that this is our quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve for x uh, by using the quadratic uh, formula and here's our quadratic formula that we will be using and here we can see our leading coefficient a is 1 our b value is negative 36 and finally our constant c value is 120 now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula so x equal to minus b and b is negative 36 negative and negative become positive 36 plus r minus the square root of negative 36 uh, whole uh, square minus uh, 4 times a is 1 and c is uh, 120 all over 2 times a is uh, 1 and here i have simplified uh, and turns out to be x equal to 36 uh, plus or minus square root of 816 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, square root of 816 i have copied it down over here and if we simplify this thing this turns out to be 4 times uh, 
square root of 51. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, square root of 816 by 4 times square root of 51 and put this uh, 2 as a common denominator into partial fractions. And now in this uh, next step, I have uh, reduced uh, these uh, fractions. And now we are going to split these positive uh, and negative signs. As you can see in this uh, next step, one with a positive sign and one with the negative sign in between. And now we can see x equals to 18 minus 2 times square root of 51 is uh, not possible. So therefore we are going to reject uh, this scenario and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 18 plus 2 times square root of 51. And now let's make an observation. We can see x equals to a times b. So therefore I'm going to replace this x by a b over here. So therefore our a times b value turns out to be 18 plus 2 times square root of 51. And now let's recall once again the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. And in our case our dimensions are a and b. So therefore uh, this A times B represents the area of this uh, rectangle. So therefore our rectangle ABCD area turns out to be 18 plus 2 times square root of 51. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, Y triangle. We already figured out this rectangle ABCD area which is uh, right here. The orange triangle area is 5 cm square. The blue triangle area is 6 cm square. And finally, the green triangle area is 7 cm square. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, rectangle area over here minus uh, this uh, orange triangle area minus blue triangle area and then minus green triangle area. And here if we combine these uh, like terms, so that's going to give us a negative 18. And here we can see 18 and negative 18, they are gone. So therefore our this uh, Y triangle area turns out to be 2 times the square root of 51 centimeter square. So thus our Y triangle area turns out to be 2 times square root of 51 centimeter square. And that would be going to be approximately equal to 14.28 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.